Hey guys, Tom here from Panel Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Sony's FDR AX100E 4K video camera. While I've owned many media devices in the past that are capable of recording HD video, I've never actually owned a 4K video camera, let alone a camcorder. This review will benefit those that are in a similar position to myself or those that are looking to upgrade an older, more outdated camera. Before we get into this review, I'd like to go through a question that I actually asked myself before purchasing this camera. Do we really need a video camera today, especially when media devices or mobile phones are more than capable of taking great quality video? Well, after doing some research, and in my opinion, the answer is if you're doing pre-planned video or using video editing software, whether it be for scripted YouTube videos like this one, or you're doing simple movies that you want to add to your movie collection, then the answer is yes. And while small compact cameras can't really offer much more over a mobile phone, those that are in the price range over 500 like this one pack a lot more features and a lot more hardware that mobile phones or the small media devices just simply cannot handle. So moving over to the PC now, we're just going to take a quick look at the features these more expensive video cameras have over these mobile devices. Typically, uh, the more expensive devices have a larger sensor and a more advanced image processor. They have better video compression, such as AVC-HD or Sony's new AX, uh, sorry, XAVC-S. Uh, they have image stabilization technology, uh, optical zoom and viewfinder and additional manual control options that allow you to control the aperture, the speed, gain, um, white balance for example, and so on. The most important of these features however is the sensor and the image processor. Your sensor is responsible for capturing light, your image processor is responsible for converting that exposure into digital data. This data measured in megapixels is formed by the image processor's algorithm. This data is then compressed and then filed onto a hard drive. The larger the sensor capturing the light, the less guesswork the image processor has to do to create an accurate image at the megapixel size the processor is capable of. All this results in an overall better image quality, better low light recording and shallow depth of field, which allows for those blurry or bokeh backgrounds when set with a lower F value. Your typical mobile phone uses a sensor that is one third of an inch or smaller. Compact video cameras, including the popular Panasonic HCX920, use a sensor size that's half an inch. Where it gets interesting is Sony has now incorporated into the ADR AX100 a one inch sensor. On top of this, they've also included the latest image processing technology, the Bion ZX, a technology used in all of their pro hardware. Now this image processor is capable of recording up to 120 frames per second outputting at 4K resolution. It was upon learning this, I made my decision to switch away from Panasonic's HCX920 and I purchased the FDR AX100. Anyway, that's enough about the basics. Let's move on and meet Sony's FDR AX100E 4K video camera. Taking a quick look at the packaging, you'll notice that there are no security seals on it. Uh, I must say that I am a fan of security seals. I'm not sure if it's just um, this box itself or whether it's typical with all of Sony's products. But um, when it comes to buying stuff like this or even more so with graphic cards or CPUs, too many times have I sent a graphics card or a CPU back because it's been obviously used or tested for overclocking purposes and sent back to be resold. Anyway, moving on, let's take a look inside the box.
So holding the AX100 with the built-in strap is comfortable and uh, the controls are actually quite easy to reach. Uh, to put in the battery, you just simply put it here. And to pull out the viewfinder, you just simply pull this out. Now this turns on the camera, as you can hear. Or you can open it like this, which will also control open the camera. On the back is a retractable and tiltable viewfinder and controls for the three built-in ND filters, including an auto-enable switch. The battery is mounted far enough from the tripod mount that it still can be removed and attached to most small to medium-sized tripods. On the left, you'll find a 3.5-inch LCD touch display, and below it are buttons to enable manual modes for the iris, gain, ISO, and shutter speed. There is also a small dial towards the front to manipulate the settings while they are set to the manual mode. Above the manual dial is an auto manual focus button and a switch to change the large lens rings between controlling focus or zoom. When the LCD is open, it reveals a single SDMS card slot and buttons for switching to playback mode, enabling night shot and changing picture parameters. On the top, there is a built in 5.1 channel surround microphone and a hot shoe for mounting powered accessories. Overall, the FDR AX100 does an excellent job at fitting all of its features into a small and substantial chassis that is easy to hold and operate. Moving to the front of the camera, Sony have partnered with Carl Zeiss to produce a beautiful 62mm lens with 12 times optical zoom. Embedded is a silky smooth ring that can either control the focus or zoom settings via switch. On the other side of the lens is a focus magnifier button that when pressed allows you to magnify an area on your touch LCD screen. The lens also features Sony's steady shot image stabilization technology which helps reduce that jitter and vibrations from walking. Internally the AX100 features a 1 inch sensor backed by Sony's state of the art Bion ZX image processor. This processor is currently in use for all of their prosumer level equipment and is capable of recording images at 120 frames per second, producing 4K video and taking 20 megapixel still images. Recording output can be compressed using either the industry standard AVCHD for 1080p or Sony's new XAVCS for 1080p and 4K at 30 frames per second. The AX100 comes with built-in Wi-Fi so you can transfer your videos via instant sharing or make use of Sony's Play Memories app which provides you with many additional features such as remotely operating the unit via your Android or iOS device, a feature I particularly love. And connectivity wise, the AX100 comes with enough inputs to keep you happy. If you don't have a USB 3 card reader yet, you can make use of the provided USB cable which is only USB 2 view video footage via the micro HDMI input, share media either via Wi-Fi or F NFC, and use SD cards up to 128 gigabytes. It is important to note that for 4K recording, you will need an SDXC card, which currently has a maximum capacity of 64 gigabytes, allowing you to record speeds of over 70 megabytes per second. Taking a look at the LCD screen, we have here a couple of objects. Uh, just to test the focusing. To do some manual focusing you can just press it twice and then you can get back. Uh, taking a look at the menu options we've got the shooting mode. The top two are 4K compatible, the bottom two are only compatible with the AVCHD compression at 1080p. Uh, we've got various different settings got the image quality. This is where we can change the format. At the moment it's set, set at the um, XAVC. And then we've got the setup. 
edit and copy for playback and we can change the uh, playback function Sony's FDR AX100E is a camera that will please both the consumer and the prosumer. On the outside it looks just like a normal Handycam. It's not too heavy to hold. It's not too much larger than the compact camera. But on the inside it's packed full of features that make it behave more like a professional camera. It's affordable. It's loaded with Sony's brand new Vion ZX image processor and comes with a large one inch sensor. To top things off, the lens alone is worth hundreds. In the next video we'll be talking about accessories that I've purchased and I fully recommend. But for now, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website panelreview.com and I'll see you in the next video.